Welcome or welcome back. In this tutorial, you will learn how to master the one length line haircut on fine wavy hair texture using advanced zoning and sectioning technique, including all the simple tips and tricks to mastering this cutting technique. Our first step is to assess our client's natural hair texture and establish the length we're cutting our line. I have decided to cut this haircut wet with precision. If the hair texture was curlier, I would suggest to cut with the dry cutting method. We have chosen to use the face frame length as our guide and have chosen to cut a square line to create a stronger and modern shape. We start the haircut zoning from the natural parting to the apex down to the mastoid process on both sides. Zoning to the mastoid process allows us to cut a guide into the back zone more easily. We take our first horizontal section in the front side zone. Taking a small piece of hair as our guide for our first cutting section. I place my comb to cut my guide into my first section. I use my comb and scissor to distribute and control my first cutting section. Our body position is square to our section. We now proceed to cut a simple square line, making sure our section is in natural fall and our scissors are also cutting square to the floor. We continue to take sections one comb in width, working up the head shape. I'm now cutting all future sections in natural fall with zero tension. This is an important step when cutting wavy or bouncy hair textures. If you were to use tension, it will create graduation in our line once completed, as the follicle will stretch when it's wet and then bounce up when it's dry. When cutting line haircuts, it's important to maintain body position and also to either be standing or sitting in a position where your eye can comfortably see your line. We now repeat the same exact process on the opposite side, maintaining even hair hydration, no tension, square sectioning and body position, ensuring your eye is level with your line for the best square line hair cutting results. It's important to master this technique as most haircuts have a component of the line cutting technique. You might be wondering why I haven't chosen a round or triangular line. I tend to preference the square line as it creates a more modern shape. A square line haircut offers a clean, sharp and modern look with defined angles, low maintenance, face framing qualities and a versatile professional appeal, making it a bold and stylish choice. We now cross check our balance on both sides before moving onto the final back zone. We take a horizontal section under the occipital bone, combing our section into natural fall before cutting with no tension, ensuring our body position is center and square to our cutting line. You will notice we have two guides from both side sections. This is the advantage of zoning from the apex down to the mastoid process. This is a bulletproof way of ensuring your haircut is cut to the exact length your client has asked by starting in the front zones. This is just an alternative way to cutting the line haircut that you may find useful. We continue this process working up the head shape until we run out of hair. This tutorial is part one of a series with this hair mannequin. In future tutorials, I'll be teaching 
you how to use the feather razor. I'll be taking you through in-depth tutorials, including a layered haircut with face framing, a textured bob haircut, and a lived-in pixie haircut tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if you use a feather razor or if you'd like to learn how to use a feather razor. Next you will learn how to cut a long layered razor cut haircut with face framing. Stay tuned for this tutorial. And if you happen to like this hair mannequin's colour, check the link above or in the bio below for this beautiful copper face frame application. Before finishing, it's important to visualize your line. You can use your mirror or stand back away from your client and make sure there's no disturbances in your line haircut before completing. We now flat wrap, blow dry, to prepare the haircut for the refining process. It's important to flat wrap your line haircuts into natural fall so you can cross check and refine your line with precision. Because this hair mannequin has thin fine hair, I won't be refining with texturizing techniques as it will thin the haircut shape too much. Instead, I'll be elevating her head to the opposite direction whilst dusting the ends, gently removing any unwanted graduation. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. If you have learned any valuable tips, please hit the like and subscribe icons and let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next. This is my one length square line haircut tutorial. This is a perfect technique you can use on all lengths of haircuts, including your bobs, medium length and long layered haircuts. Feel free to share this with your friends and fam. And don't forget to support the channel by liking and subscribing. And if you like this color, you should watch this must know copper color application next.